I'm going to tell you everything you want to know about the RSI constellation Aquila and we're starting right now. Welcome to Robert Space Industries. Enjoy the ride. System check. Welcome to a Star Citizen Ship Buyer's Guide. What's up citizens, this is Subliminal here and today we'll be discussing the features, functions and benefits of the RSI constellation Aquila with a comparison on how those features rank amongst competing ships so you can make an informed buying decision. If you like this video, smash that like button. For more weekly content, please subscribe and click the bell and let me know what ship you'd like to see in the next episode down in the comments. Let's get to it. The Constellation Aquila is the exploration variant of the Constellation manufactured by none other than Robert Space Industries. RSI is a multinational corporation that designs, manufactures, and sells spaceships, vehicles, ship components, and spacesuits. It is one of the oldest modern human space corporations that stretches all the way back to when mankind's first stepped into the stars. The Aquila is one of four constellation variants. The Andromeda, Taurus, and Phoenix are also available. Reviews on those will be coming soon. Where the Aquila sets itself apart from the other variants is its redesigned cockpit for maximum visibility, advanced sensors, and its very own rover and snub fighter. That's right folks, you buy this ship and you have instant access to the Ursa rover and the Merlin snub fighter. The Aquila is currently flight ready as a 3.0. It is available on the pledge store for purchase and upgrade for $310 and on average sales for $294 on the gray market. It is not currently available to purchase with in-game credits. With that out of the way, let's see how it compares to other ships you might be considering. For comparison, I have handpicked 10 ships that I think may be considered by someone looking to purchase a Constellation Aquila. The following slides will feature the Aquila's values and rank along with the names and values of the worst and best ships. A Google Sheets document with those ships and data are linked in the description. This information is sourced from multiple sources, some with conflicting data. I have chosen the data that I think is most accurate. Information and thoughts reflect the current state of the ship and the persistent universe. When changes to the ship or PU are pertinent, I will make a follow-up video. Now let's see how it stacks up against the competition. The Aquila comes in at around 286,000 kilograms. It has a max crew size of five, a cargo capacity of 96 SCU. It features a max yaw pitch rate of 25 degrees per second. This is pretty slow, but it's common for a ship this size an SCM speed of 190 meters per second. It has a 985 meters per second top speed, has over 25,000 hit points across its body. Its shield generators can withstand over 12,000 hit points of damage. Its gun DPS of almost 1,600 is subpar as well as its theoretical DPS of just over 3,300. Remember, DPS only matters if you can hit your target. Its missiles do almost 21,000 damage and that's pretty good compared to the competition. Its fuel tanks can hold a massive 35 gallons of fuel, third to the Caterpillar and the Starfarer. Its quantum drive has a 70 megameters per second quantum speed, so travel from Port Alazar to Hurston will take you seven minutes and 32 seconds. Enough time to watch one of my videos. It has a QT range of 109 gigameters, so it can travel from Port Alazar to Hurston 3.4 times before needing to refuel. I am very surprised by this stat. I figured it would have a much farther range. It appears as though its purpose is to explore planetary surfaces, not space. And finally, leaving Hurston's atmosphere will take you about five minutes and five seconds. Now let's talk about its firepower. The Aquila packs four Verapuck size five gimbal mounts with one size four M6A laser auto cannons each. These M6As have 1100 energy damage with 37 RPM for a total of 700 DPS and a 5100 meter range. Note that the top two size 5 gimbals can be replaced with two size 5 fixed if so desired. The Aquila's lower turret comes equipped with two size 2 CF227 Badger laser repeaters. These Badgers have 52 energy damage with 300 RPM for a total of 260 DPS and an 1800 meter range. The top turret comes equipped with a radar scanner that is not functional in 3.4. For missiles, it has four proprietary Constellation missile racks with six size two Strike Force 2s each for a total of 24 missiles. Strike Force 2s are cross section, have 874 mixed damage, a 2.68 second lock time, and an over 4,800 meter range. Let's talk about the components. The standard components available on the Aquila are as follows. It has two size two grade C civilian class Frost Star EX coolers, 
two size two grade C civilian class daybreak power plants, two size two grade C civilian class 5MA Chimali shield generators, and last but not least, we have one size two Boland quantum drive. Let's take a look at the interior. We'll start in the rear where the access to the Kruger Merlin is located. This mechanic is not yet ready as of Alpha 3.4. We are in section D. Moving on to section C, we have components that are labeled but aren't physicalized, so I won't mention them. Feel free to read along as we go. To our left, we have the port side airlock and the missile rack. Moving around, we have the starboard side airlock, the second missile rack, and more components. Below us is the cargo hole big enough to fit an Ursa rover, Tumbro Cyclone, a couple of Dragonflies or Noxes, or 96 SCU of cargo space. Continuing on, we enter into Section B. Section B has four bunk beds to log out in, a lounge area for crew members with a coffee table, an airlock elevator, to our right we have two functional gun racks, five crew lockers, and finally we have a head. Moving to section A, or the bridge, we have a traditional lower turret, and an upper turret with the radar scanner not yet functional in Alpha 3.4. Next we have a co-pilot seat with one MFD, an assistant to the co-pilot seat with one MFD also, and finally we have a pilot seat with a whopping seven multifunction displays. Welcome to Robert Space Industries. Enjoy the ride. System check. In closing, I think the RSI Constellation Aquila is a great large exploration vehicle. It's a very versatile and capable ship, even though its core mechanics aren't in the game yet. It has a pretty good bang for the buck with the included snub and rover. I would say its pros are a packaged snub fighter and Ursa rover, large cargo capacity, decent shields, hefty missile payload, and two size 5 weapons can be attached, just to name a few. Its cons are missing game mechanics like the radar and snub fighter docking not being available yet. It's pretty slow, but that's to be expected for a ship this size, and a lower than expected QT range, but I think this is intentional. So is it worth the buy? Ultimately that decision is up to you. The next ship I'll review will be the Origin 300i. Let me know in the comments what you like or dislike about it. Did you like this guide? Like it. For more weekly Star Citizen content, subscribe by hitting the bell and comment what ship you'd like to see featured in the next Star Citizen Ship Buyer's Guide. Until next time, citizens, I'll see you in the verse.